First of all, if I could have lunch with any celebrity, it would be Abraham. But then I just, I wouldn't know how many chairs to put out. So. One. Just one. Okay. So this all leads up to a question, and I feel like it's my last question ever. You... We know. <laughs> Unless he... I start nitpicking. <laughs> You've talked about the existence of past lives, even today, right? We go through the lives, we go back to wherever, and, then, and we hold our kid's hand, and then we come back. So I'm going to give you something, a sort of bombshell we would like you to take home with you today and remember forevermore. Everything that you've lived before, your inner being has taken the advantage of it with, with, with. And so everything that you've ever lived has produced an understanding that your inner being now stands as a possessor of it. So the only thing when you speak of past life, we would like to call the only past life that is worth calling past the present life that you are currently living. Because what is, is already past tense. And anything that you've lived before, the best part of it is with your inner being. So it's present tense. So the only past that is really worth letting go of is the current what is. Because the current what is is what's holding you back from your eternal expansion. And if you got that, you're ready for everything. Thank you. Thus the last question I have. So... If we do a past life regression, or if a psychic tells us about a past life, if it's seen somehow, or it can be real or not real, doesn't First matter. First of all, a psychic could not pick up on it unless it was active in your vibration. So it's not past, it's present. All right. So whatever we're seeing is our vibration of the moment, regardless whether it was real or not. It's, it's just real, but you don't know if it's yours or the psychic's. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now, I have recently had psychics tell me this is going to happen that's going to happen it's going to happen and it does i get that that's how i'm vibrating right and if i were to change my vibration now that future would not happen so anymore. this is someone who's very tapped into energy who is anticipating what's coming in other words this is what we were saying about your inner being that your inner being knows where you stand in relationship to everything that you want and so there's this psychic emission that you are offering that the universe is responding to law of attraction is responding to and sometimes you can sense it and sometimes others can see it okay good because this is helping lead to the question so i have heard and this is where i think i'm getting off i've heard that all time has happened at once right because time is not linear you talk about expansion expansion well is that's a to just B. humans trying to explain stuff that they can't explain because it's clear that what is happening now is the leading edge and so here and now in other words it's true that everything that matters is happening here and now and it's true that when you're thinking about the past you're doing it here and now and it's true that when you're thinking about the present you're doing it here and now so all of your power is here and now but there was that which you lived before and the best way that we can explain the continuum of life is by saying that it is more now than it was then and it will be more later than it is now because the universe is continuing to expand and if you don't try to put it in terms of time then it's easy to get that sense of evolution and expansion and progression good yes thank you so here's the first half of the question have future lives been lived Future lives have been lived in a vibrational stance. In other words, your inner being is living your future life vibrationally. And you are in the process of warming up to it until you match the vibration so that it can manifest. How are thoughts turning to things? Thoughts are turning to things because of your realization of the vibration that causes you to translate it into things. You think that this is reality, but what it is is your vibrational interpretation. 
and so because you happen to be vibrationally interpreting similarly you call it a reality and we don't disagree with that the more people who are vibrationally interpreting similarly the more that reality is reality that's why scientists want everybody to agree on what they're seeing before they allow themselves to move forward yeah. but there is a vibrational reality that is being lived by your inner being and you are being given constant guidance so that you can realize the vibrational components of that so that you can translate them into the more tangible because it is more satisfying isn't the leading edge more satisfying don't you want to see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it don't you want your dreams to become reality don't you want to walk on that beach that you've envisioned and feel that water on your feet don't you want the visceral experience of it your inner being does and is having it yeah I wanted the egg McMuffin I had on the road trip here which I felt so guilty for and I want to not feel that guilt but I wanted the pleasure so I get that so a little aside there so the future lives that have been lived vibrationally if I'm shifting my the future that is being lived vibrationally in other words it's future but it is so vibrationally present that you could have it right now that's that quantum leap that you were reaching for earlier that's that quantum leap that's the shift that's the vibrational emotional shift that is necessary once it has been given vibrational birth the ability for it to be a physical see it hear it smell it taste it touch it reality is real you've just got to get to that place that you can translate it into the impulse so as my now changes so does my future change because it's all it's yes even if in your now you're exploring unwanted contrast your future is benefiting by it because when you know what you don't want you know what you do want so stories of future and stories of past are the same kind of give us more let's say all of your power is here and now let's just start there doesn't matter if you're exploring the past or what you call the future you're doing it right here and now the only question that you really want to ask is is my exploration of whatever identical with the exploration that my source is having or am I deviating from that source perspective and as you feel your way into your source perspective then what you're calling vibrational reality then becomes boom physical reality okay. where other people can see it too okay good thank you so now this is leading to the question <laughs> I know for sure you're gonna stomp on me for this and I'm preparing myself for it but I'm really hoping you're gonna give me an answer that's better than anything I came up with before so you talked about oneness right and we are creators and some people put the word God on that so if and oneness is great but isn't it nice that the oneness is in all this diversity because isn't playing off one another conducive to the expansion of the oneness so let's not get hung up on a oneness that we can't even contemplate that's pretty much where I'm headed with this so if if there once we like if we were to take this whole room of people and make it to the whole world of people as one creator and then different ideas within this creation but the thing is even the creator is not looking for one idea that's why what you want to call the one creator is ravenous about the idea of all of the diversity of what you are all wanting to live that's like being an eater that only eats jelly beans so this creator this creator that you're talking about is my question I have this image of this like big fat black blob sitting there going well I'm the creator so I'm gonna give myself amnesia and make myself forget that and do all these silly things so I can entertain myself and pretend that I have friends and create these stories because like you said this isn't the real reality so I'm gonna sit here as this big creator and create a reality and make myself forget uh, and no I it's more like this it's more like life is so rich and full and the more diverse that which I am source is then the more new ideas are born and the more potential for joy is realized by all this entity that you are wanting to call God who is expressing through all of you individually is ravenous about the variety of experiences and exposure to one another that everyone has and out of that is being born more more what more potential for joy more potential for ideas more expansion the only way that you will ever from your physical format and you can do this and it's delicious when you do 
understand what the consciousness of source feels like is when you pick something that you care about and you don't resist it and you allow yourself to feel source flowing through you about that in this moment because to you it will feel like the only thing in all of the universe that source cares about or has ever cared about or ever will care about is what you're caring about right here and now that's the capacity and the power and the ability to focus the source has the only question is how well are you able to come into enough vibrational alignment with that that you can be part of that understanding part of that love part of that joy part of that expansion words don't teach we can know it we can feel it we can love it and we can say it to you and say it to you and say it to you but until you find some way of adjusting your vibration so that you are in sync with what source is and then you are allowing that synced up source energy perspective to be present as you're focused upon the things of your life the people of your life the ideas of your life that's when you understand what source is never ending always interested always passionate always alive always love I think you answered it when you said diversity I just had this feeling of loneliness like when you get to just one you know but there's such a distortion in that perspective and everything that we've been saying all day here today has to put that silly perspective to rest because when we say to you that source is interested this conversation has never happened before into all of the universe and we have no way of even explaining to you how much of non-physical is focused here with all of us in this moment in order to help take this thought just a little beyond what it has ever been before you have no idea what the vibrational change in you has been as a result of participating in this leading edge conversation everything in your personal world has shifted because of the infusion of this consciousness focused specifically at you there's not one of you who is participating here in this room that source is not aware of knowing where you are knowing how you're hearing actually offering information to us so that we can project it to Esther in a way so that she can choose a word that might bring you in in a way that you wouldn't have known before in other words talk about well-being talk about understanding talk about infinite intelligence talk about capacity to love and know talk about understanding of where you are talking about appreciation of where you are and who you are in relationship to the whole you've just got to goose up your appreciation of yourself you've just got to feel yourself in the important role that you play because one is not more important than you the all is not more important than you because the all and you cannot ever be separated unless you do it yeah. Yeah. Really good. Really good. that was a really good question